Hello YouTube, it's Peaceful Butterfly ASMR. My throat just creaked. And today, um, I was hoping that this would be a role play, but I, before this, I tried doing a first role play, and I'm not even sure if I'm going to upload it. Uh, I was going to do a video game roleplay and a movie roleplay. I did the video game, but I don't really know, um, I don't know, um, I'm probably going to wait until, um, I end this one and then I'll figure it out, but, um, I just, I have some movies of mine, not my boyfriend's, no one, but of mine, of my own, yes, um, that, um, that are pretty much my favorite, um, why is that right there, sorry, Okay, so this will probably be just a soft-spoken um, um, tapping and reading of the descriptions. Oh so, yeah. Let's get started. Okay, so, okay, so let me... Show you one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, oh, I don't know. Okay, my favorite cartoon movie of all time. I don't know. <laughs> I have so many favorite movies, it's not even funny. Well, I love Beauty and the Beast. And, um, I got the, um, the Diamond Edition, where it's the DVD and two Blu-ray. At the time, I only had a DVD player. Um, but now, since I have, you know, my boyfriend's PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4, I can actually finally watch it. But, I don't know why. I mean, um, I like... You know, Pocahontas and Little Mermaid and everything like that, but there's something about Beauty and the Beast that gets to me. I don't know. Um, I just, I think it's just the fact that Belle, she likes the beast for who he is, and it's just basically, you know, hair in my mouth. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I mean, it's just, it teaches you, the Disney version teaches you, you know, to love someone for who they are. Um, but, I 
mean, and then there's a lot of other obstacles that you have to go through to, to overcome that. Um, I mean, overcome the obstacles so that you way you can be happy with the person that you love. Um, I don't know. I like Bill, but I like Lumiere and Chip. They're like my favorite characters. Lumiere because he's funny and yeah, you know, like he just makes me laugh. And then Chip, um, oh, come on, who wouldn't like Chip? He's so cute. Um, I'm telling you, I know this movie by heart. I'm not even joking. Um, but just for those that don't really know. Okay, so sorry. Um, I thought it was different. Acclaimed and treasured like no other, Disney's beloved modern classic, the first animated feature film in the history of the Oscars, nominated for Best Picture um, in 1991, is brilliantly, brilliantly transformed to a new level of inter entertainment. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Through the magic of Blu ray, high definition. The music you'll never forget, the characters who will fill your heart, and the magical adventure about finding beauty within all come to spectacular a lot spit come to spectacular life in Blu-ray plus all new most bonus features will transform transport you even further into Bell's enchanted world. So be our guest and join the beloved independent Bell and the Beast with the soul of a prince as it cast an enchanting spell like they never be like never before. Oh my gosh I can't talk. And then the beast is just like, he's just that, yeah, I mean, I, okay. For those that think the, um, the, the real version, how, you know, it's ruining our childhood, you know, it's bestiality. I feel like the beast is a metaphor. Obviously, I mean, it's basically about loving someone for who they are, whether it's, I feel like it's a metaphor. I feel like, I feel like it's, it's just another way of looking at someone that's ugly or someone that's short or someone that's fat. I mean, I think the beast it's a metaphor for looking at the bigger picture, where in this case, Belle falls in love with this person that no one other, no one would probably think to fall in love with, because I mean he's a beast, but in reality, I mean there's hairs in my book. I mean, on the, in reality, it's like. She shows him that you can be yourself through, I mean, you can be yourself and I will still like you or I will still love you. I mean, I don't really, I don't really think it's BCLE. I mean, there could be so many, so many things that people could like say about this, but Anyway, but that's what I think. That's what I believe. But that is the first movie. And comment below if you've seen this and what is your favorite character. And if you say Gaston, I won't talk to you. Just kidding. No, he's, he's, he's fine in his own way. 
it would be really, it would be actually really cool if he did survive. If he didn't die. Um, and he, like, saw what happened. Like, he saw, you know, the beast get hurt, and then he died, and then he came back to life. But not in the beast, in human form. He'd be like, what? <gasps> and then he dies. No, I'm just kidding. But that would be a really cool uh, turnaround to the story. I don't know. Tell me, tell me guys what you think. So there's that. I don't know what. Eh. Okay, I gotta, I gotta show this to you. Okay, so one day I was in Target, and you know, me and my friend were just walking around, and I was looking through the movies, right? All of a sudden, I saw this movie. And I just had to buy it. And it was only five dollars. Five dollars. I used to watch this when I was just a wee little thing. Just a wee little thing. It's called My Lo Adventures of Milo Notice. I watched it once when I've got it and I haven't watched it again, but come on. Who couldn't love the the friendship of a cat and a dog? just so cute and okay so when I watched it when I was little like I remember watching it I didn't think anything of it watching it now since I'm like 23 years old I'm like so that's what happened <laughs> I'm like I literally thought that this movie was longer when I was little it was like quick but it's uh, the thing. <clears throat> uh, the back says a curious kitten named Milo and his inseparable friend, a pug nosed puppy named Otis, tumble through one exciting escape. I can't spell. I can't read. Escapade. Escapade. Escape. Escape. After another in the adventures of Milo and Otis, a heartwarming live action film. Milo and Otis start life together on a farm and spend their days exploring the barnyard and the surrounding country countryside. One day, the little feline is swept down a rushing river and Otis takes off in pursuit to rescue his friend, thus beginning a series of adventures. Oh my gosh, this is going to be like... The Adventures of Milo and Otis, which took four years to complete, is a film that will delight both the young and both the young and young at heart. See, that's me. I'm the young at heart. <laughs> but it is so cute. I mean, you have like the Milo and Otis, and then you have like the bear and the cows and. Oh my gosh, the owl in the movie, it's so, it's so funny, but, I mean, <clears throat> and it's not like any other, um, any other, like, movie, about movies about animals, it's basically, like, like, the narrator, it's like reading a book, the narrator reading the book, and the narrator acting out the characters, that's what it is, and obviously I didn't think that when I was little, but now I do. But when I was watching it, the narrator was, you know, telling the story and he was acting out the characters. Like but the you know, the pets weren't talking like ne -ne -ne, like in like cartoons. This is so cute. You gotta get this. I'm serious. It's adorable. I mean, I don't care. 
also age of my for this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but it's really, really cute. Um, it made me want a cat. Oh, wait, I have one. It made me want a dog. But this is a really, really cute cat. I mean, video. Huh. Maybe I should have named my cat Milo. Clyde, Clyde is a good name. Okay. So there's that. Oh, but look at this. Look how cute that is. It's Milo and the cow sleepy. Okay. That is enough. And there's paper right here. Alright, let's continue with the animated um, stuff. You have no idea how long I've been wanting to buy this freaking movie. Oh my gosh, Dinosaur. I'm telling you, the first time I saw it, I was like in love with it. Because, <clears throat> okay, if anyone has ever seen um, the series Lamp Before Time Dinosaurs, Okay, don't see it. See this, because this is literally better than the Lamp Before Time Dinosaurs, and I've actually seen that. I used to have the stuffed animals. Don't ask. But this one... That is not supposed to be in there. Hey, look everyone, Harry Potter did this uh, first magic trick, or last magic trick. Oops. I'll show that to you. Um, but, um, I'm telling you, it is, and you know what, it's like, one of the very first movies I've actually got that my boyfriend's seen. I'm like, seriously? Um, oh no, come on. You gotta love that lemur. It's so cute. But, <clears throat> it's, <coughs> excuse me, the scenery, it's so Vivid. I mean, for a cartoon. I mean, it's like, it's not a cartoon, but then the animals talk, or the dinosaurs talk, but it's like, it's like a real life cartoon. It's like, it's just so vivid and colorful, and oh my gosh, you'll love it. But the, um, uh, the back it says, join the action-packed adventure of a group of dinosaurs overcoming enormous challenges through courage, loyalty, and hope in Disney's dinosaur special effects phenomenon. Set 65 million years ago, Dinosaur tells the compelling story of Alatar and, oh my gosh, in Iguandan who is separated from his own kind and raised by a clan of lemurs, including the wise cracky, cracking Zinni and the compassionate Pleo. Um, whenever, when a meteor shower destroys their home, Aladar and his family follow a herd of dinosaurs heading for the safety of the nesting grounds. Along the way, Aladar befriends Baleen, an elderly rack I'm sorry, Emma, Emma, an unstoppable, oh my gosh, you know what, uh, Lampy for Time Dinosaurs, okay, Baleen, elderly, long neck, um, at Emma, an unstoppable ceratops, triceratops, um, and Nira, a feisty fellow 
the same thing that Aladar is. I don't know. Um, together they must stand alone amongst immense food and water shortages. Shortages. The threat of Conator attacks and Aladar's Aladar's run-ins with the herd's stubborn leader Kron. 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 Eh. A landmark and fulfilling technology dinosaur's theoretical quality is fully captured in this DVD, which features a digital-to-digital -digital transfer that ensures the best possible picture and sound quality. That's Aladar. I'm pretty sure that's Pleo. That's like the mother. Yeah. And then back. They're looking at the meteor shower. And then they're walking with the dinosaurs. Ah, we're gonna, no way. But just like, look at that. Even the cover is so good. Oh, it has to be. But it's a really good movie. I'm probably gonna watch it after this um, video. But, yeah. Visually astonishing. Okay, so there's that. Oh, and then, um, okay, so I think this is the, the first, first movie of uh, Harry Potter that I didn't even know. know where the case is. I mean, I actually seen all of them. I literally, when I didn't really have a very um, stressful college year, I took one weekend off and I watched from the very first Harry Potter to... to Deathly Hallows, part do. Um, it's pretty good. I'm dead serious. All the characters have changed. I really wish I would have read the books, but you know, it is what it is. But he's so cute in this one. It's so. It's so precious. And then I feel sorry for him because of his freaking family. I'm like... These two are kind of like together, and I had to shut up because I had to. Um, the first one, it's like a series, so that's why I said that. The first one, it's Twitches, Twin Witches. Um, I think this is the first one. Yeah, okay. This was when uh, Disney Channel was awesome back then, when this came out. Um, now it's not. Anyway, okay. Oh, I'm sorry, book. I have to read the book now. Okay, so it says the enchanting best selling book series comes to life. In the Disney Channel original movie, Twitches, only the Bewitched Edition DVD has the exclusive alternate ending and spellbinding look behind the scenes with Tia and Tamara. Um, superstar twin sisters Tia and Tamara Maui, sister sister, I love that show, used to when it was so on, stars twin witches, Twitches, 
who were separated at birth. On their 21st birthday, Alex, um, who star Tia, and Cameron, who stars um, Tamara, uh, reunite and discover that their usual, unusual powers double in strength when they work together. Um, get caught in a spell. <laughs> get caught in their spell as they work as they work their magic to save everyone they love and fulfill their destiny. Go Twitches. I just love this uh, the movies. One, because it's Halloween. But, um, it's like a family, it's, it's a family movie. Though, my family would never watch this, so it's a me movie. But, I mean, there's a lot of funny moments, and it's Tia and Tamara when they were young. Now they're grown and with kids. Why can't we all stay chat children? Anyway, uh, okay, that was me being weird. And back to reality. Um, this it's almost like um, Sleeping Beauty. I literally had this movie memorized on the top of my head. Don't ask. I don't know, but there's this is the first one. Just twitches, and then the second one. You can probably guess it. Which is two. Um, the only bad thing is the one of the characters in the first movie and in the second movie, they're not the same. So I feel like it's like, what's the point? But that's like the only thing I hate about movies. Like, I hate series because. You have to, um, you have to remember that not all the char- not all the people are going to be in the same or the same series, one movie after another after another after another. Um, I know this is a bad example, but take Twilight. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone likes Twilight. I mean, knows Twilight. Um. The girl that plays the evil vampire, I think Victoria. The first and the second... Yeah, the first and the second movie, she's the same person. The third movie, she's a totally different person. Yes, I watched the Twilight series. Hey, Tim, now. Don't judge me. But, yeah, so I hate it when, when they don't have the same people playing their part but that's besides the point this one i feel like it's more funnier because we already know the characters we already know them okay get on with the story move on um the first one was basically about the teens twitches um embracing their power knowing that they are witches da 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 and then conquering someone and then this one it's basically about learning that you have powers and then you have to do something in order to, i'm not telling you but on the back says um exciting secrets are looking in the shadows of twitches to the double charmed edition um the double charmed edition t- dvd Join stars Tia and Tamara Maui as they take you behind the scenes for a revealing look at the special effects used in the movie. And the family tricks played on the casting crew as well as a mystical alternate scene. Oh, I didn't say that. Um, now that the twin witches, Alex, Tia, and Cameron and Tamara, know the truth about their royal birth, it's time for the girls to learn about each other and how to use their magical powers with hilarious results. 
when Alex wants to focus on college and having a semi-normal life, Cameron is all about the princessing glamour, oh, sorry, princessing glamour gowns and tiaras. Um, but their dreams must be set aside when destiny calls again. There's a new supernatural evil threatening the people of Coventry. That's their place that we live in, where they were born. And the girls discover that their father, Aaron, may still be alive and in danger. Now it's up to the Twitches to save the kingdom and their father. Twice the magic, twice the fun, you'll be doubly charmed. So, I just feel like this movie, these movies, is just a family movie. Or, if you're that type of pe person that likes Disney movies and none of your family or friends like them, it's a movie that you can watch and you popcorn and junk food and be happy with yourself while watching. Yeah, that's what I said. Okay. Okay, so the last movie that I have, <clears throat> literally, is the last movie I have. Um, I used to have, like, all sorts of movies when I was little. Like, I can't really tell, I can't really show you because it'd be, like, a lot. But, oh my gosh. I was dying when I did not, when I could not find this. I was looking at Walmart, Target, online, I finally found it. And a Green Gables. Our favorite little red-haired girl, Carrots. But I have the five dicks, dicks. I have the five disc collection. <laughs> okay. Um, so, let's see. Um, and you know what? You might know her if you guys watch Rain. Yes, it's the same girl, but grown up. Uh, Megan follows. She's her, and she also plays Queen Catherine on Rain. Yes, I just found that out, like, several months ago. But, please say that's not, okay, good, it's, okay. Okay, so, uh, it says, uh, Megan follows Colleen Dewhurst, Academy Award winners Richard Farnsworth and Dame Wendy Hiller, Give unparalleled un, uh, yeah, uh, performances in these three critically acclaimed motion pictures. Filmed amidst the spectacular scenery of Prince Edward Island, these Emmy or not Nemo um, Emmy Award winning productions span two decades, from Anne's struggles as an orphan in a small Marie time community to her triumphs as a young teacher and as, a, and as a volunteer searching for a husband on the battlefield of Europe. A delicate, moving epic full of wit, style, and emotional power. I would recommend this to anyone. It, it's just, it's funny, it's emotional, it's I I mer I don't know I really don't know how else to describe this, but that's why I in the beginning I was like, okay, what's my favorite movie? That's why I said Disney. But this will probably be my favorite movie. In real time, like real, like real people. No voice actors, no nothing. Um, but as I was saying, when, okay, when I, because I used to, I'm starting to watch Rain about um, Mary of Scots and, you know, her reign. And so, what's it called? Um, 
stretch it out here. Um, I was watching it, and all of a sudden, um, you know, a couple a uh, uh, season in, right? It's two seasons. Season in, I saw the queen on there, and I'm like, she is f so familiar. So I've typed her name up, and I'm like, oh my gosh, she played in Anne Green Gables. I'm like, I'm so happy. But she is a really good actor. She's a good um, actress. She's a good actress for being, you know, when she was a little girl. She's even a good actress for in Rain, for being a queen, for being a controlling, uh, for a lot of stuff. Um, but her, I, I don't know if maybe beginning works, but I like this. I still think I need to watch one more because I stopped watching it because of school, but I just love this movie. It's, yeah, love it. So, let's see, okay, and then, it's like her life growing up. And then, yeah, and I think there is a, um, I want to say there was a um, a video about how her adoptive parents died or something like that. I really don't know. Oh, it also has a missing episode. Sorry. Um, yeah. I don't want to see that. That's sad. Yo know why if you haven't seen this but I highly recommend it um I got it on Amazon yeah Amazon yeah Amazon yeah but okay so that is all I have for you guys today um I hope you guys enjoyed this um if you see this and this is the only video then you already know that I didn't like the video game roleplay. Um, I might just upload it because I think I can edit um, in YouTube, but eh. So let's see. Um, there is other videos I'm planning on making. Um, yeah. Um, I guess I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye, guys. And sleep dreams. Sweet dreams. Bye.